how to start an LLC in New Hampshire. It's a very straightforward procedure. It can be done online or through the NH Quick Start online portal. It's going to cost filers $100, an extra $2 if you're filing online. Um, but let's just get started here. Right off the bat, we're going to ask that you perform a business entity search. Of course, this is mandatory. What it'll do is give you an idea as to the availability of the name you plan on filing with. You can also perform a name reservation, which will cost you $15 and it'll last for 120 days. Uh, I'm assuming you can uh, figure out exactly what a name reservation is. It'll have to be filed by PDF. There's no online filing for that. So if you click on either one of these links here, you've got the uh, business entity search as well as the name reservation links. Uh, they'll give you an idea as to how to go about doing that. Uh, once you got your name secured, you can fill out the filing forms. This is either by PDF or online. We recommend that you use the online portal because it expedites the filing process. That makes it much easier. Um, so if you click on either one of these links, actually, we get domestic and foreign LLC tutorials that are specific to each kind, and within those two, you'll find the professional. LLC and uh, regular LLC filing procedures, which are a little bit different for each. Uh, when you're done filling out the forms, you can pay online by credit card or by ACH account. Um, and that'll, as I said, amount to $100. If you're filing through the mail, you're going to need to supply a check made out to the um, state of Nebraska for, again, $100. And you can mail it to this first address here, the Corporation Division or you can hand deliver it to the state house annex uh, address, which is just below here. Um, domestic uh, filers, following your acceptance by the Secretary of State, you should uh, apply for an employer identification number. If you're not sure what that is, you can follow our tutorial here. We give a more in-depth description of it, and uh, we go into exactly how to file. Also, we have uh, the links here for the online application process, and then the form SS4, which is a PDF filing process. Uh, also, an operating agreement is something that we recommend that you draft during the formation process. It's not legally required, but it's definitely useful because it allows you to delineate the relationship between the members of the LLC and the LLC itself. So if that didn't make too much sense to you, um, you can click on this link here and we give a, a paragraph description as to exactly what an operating agreement is why it might be helpful for you, and free templates in both Microsoft Word and Adobe PDF for you to use if you wish. Uh, finally, renewal. Every entity, whether it's LLC or partnership or corporation, uh, needs to renew each year through the filing of an annual report. This is fairly standard. Unfortunately, it's going to cost $100, which is a little bit more expensive than most states that we see here. Um, but yeah, you're going to need to pay that online through your uh, Quick Start portal. Uh, by credit card, and all it is is just updating the Secretary of State of a few vital pieces of information. It's pretty, pretty much just reinstating all the information that you gave in the initial registration and formation documents, and um, making sure that they're up to date. And that'll keep you in good standing, and it'll keep them uh, updated on all you know management advancements. And I hope this was helpful. Best of luck to you guys.